So I am going to go right into the comparison of the two planner. As you can see on the left is the Louis Vuitton MM Agenda and then on the right is the Plotter um, Bible Size Agenda. And these two are very gorgeous. I was able to manage to get this from um, my SA which was very easy. I just text her and she was telling me when um, it was in stock and I just go pick it up. So it was very easy for me personally. And I love it, but it was super hard for me to actually carry around even though it's a medium size. And um, I wasn't really loving the personal insert in this because the ring was well, it still is very big, so it was a little hard for me to write um, like so. So, like when I write this side, it's okay. But when I flip around and going to write like this, it's really, really hard. Um, so I kind of switch it around um, and try to use um, this planner by changing the insert to the A6 size. And with the AC, I was able to write a little more and a little easier just because it's more wider. And when you close, um, okay, so actually when you close the A6, it won't come out, okay, if you put it in the ring. <laughs> but this is just to show you. And so I was really in love with this A6 setup. But I don't know, it was just really bulky for me to really carry around. So it becomes like another planner at home. And I really just don't want that. I feel like planner last year just becoming less functional to me. Like I have so many planners and I feel like so intimate. Like I was just very like confused, I guess. Like I don't know which planner really fits good to me and I feel I was very annoyed how many planners I have. I'm grateful to have them all but I just feel like in terms of functionality having more than one planner is just not for me and I need just one planner and maybe one notebook and that's what I learned <laughs> last year of 2021 and I really needed something to be able to carry around. So with that said I have been looking and my plan was um, I was going to use this A6 and uh, the Poe notebook. I'm sure you all know this is a long story, um, but if you're interested, stay 
and listen. If you're not, maybe you can just give a head. But I was going to use the Hobonichi for um, just the... See, I even make all the tabs and they are so cute. But I was going to use this for daily to-dos. But, um, and then the monthly, just because the whole notebook, I was using the Louis Vuitton agenda and it was really hard um, to keep two at once just to plan. And I really needed something to have weekly and daily together, if that makes sense, and a monthly. But Louis Vuitton, and, um, Louis Vuitton agenda refill does not have the monthly. And I'm sure you all know that. So this is not working out really great. But I was going to stuck with it until I find out about Plotter. And I was like, this seems like a good system. And I thought Bible size wasn't personal at first. So I was very excited for the new size. Then when it comes and I realized, oh, it was personal. And I thought I actually wouldn't like it because I already tried the personal insert. And I thought, no, I don't think I'm going to like it because I already tried it. Right? And I thought I might just return it. However, I was like, you know what? It's already in my hand. I will give it a try. And surprisingly, I love it. Like, I didn't know I can do personal size. But it turns out it worked out really great. Let me show you. So, this is the big difference in terms of the sizing. Okay, and let me switch. Um, there we go. So, you can see it's so different in the depth. Um, yeah. This is just so much more compact. And then this view. Can you see that? <laughs> it's crazy. And um, even the width, not width, sorry, the length of it, like this is so much wider. Not length, I'm so sorry, the width. <laughs> so this is wider and then the length is similar as you can see. Yeah, but this one is a little bit, um, Taller. So overall, the powder is just so much more compact in my opinion. I have been using this for quite a bit, um, definitely more than three weeks now, and um, I really love it. Um, and I use it every day besides sometimes weekend, I'm just not planning as much. But I'm going to show you what I really like about writing in this one is that this, when you write, here's my pen, when you write, it was just harder, and then you have this thing here, versus this one, you don't have this um, loop, so it was easier to write, and also another thing is that, for me, for some reason, this gap contribute um, to not writing as smoothly to me, versus here, you don't see much gap, it was easier for my hand to write. Um, I don't know, like there's just something about it. Like the design itself, it's just much easier to write on this. And I feel like the gap, I don't like this gap here. I feel like the gap is way too large versus this is perfect. Like I feel like this is great. Like it fits good. Like I don't like this gap at all, like at all. And then the only thing I do miss is the pocket because sometimes I want to decorate it, but here I cannot. Or here I can like put my stickers and stuff over here and also this great pocket. I love this. But for this one, I don't have that. So what I'm trying to do is that I put all my stickers in this pocket. And then, of course, right now, I feel like this is getting very bulky and it's kind of annoying to get in and out of. So what I'm trying to do is, um, I'm going to launch this, is that I have this sticker sheet that I created. And there are basically icons that I kind of use often. 
Um, I'm not sure if you can see. Let me bring it up. There are like icons that I use quite often in finances if you're interested. And then some of the events, um, word. Then there's this um, dot and then tiny dot. And this tiny dot, it may be very tiny just for um, here, um, since this is very tiny as well. And then you can also use it on the monthly as well. And then this is just some washi type of thing in case you need it. And then some big dots. And yeah, so far I've been really liking it. I like the monthly design as well. And like I mentioned on previous video, it's like it all has this grid um, dots. So it's very easy for me to write. I like grid and I like dot um, type of planner and I like the to-do list as well. I've been using it. I can also use it for tracking my um, orders. And then I also been using it for um, just day to day. As you can see, this is actually the fourth week. Yeah, so it's about a month that I've been using this. Oh no. Wait, let me see. Yes, so next week will be my fifth. So it has been working out really great. And I actually have it like a week before I start using it. So it has been working out really, really great. The only thing though is just like, like the way it's supposed to be. Like you're not supposed to, um, how do you call it? Like you're not supposed to stock a lot of um, stuff that you're not, using and so sometimes if you really want to stock it up like what i'm trying to do right now like i do stuff quite a lot um as you can see i do stuff quite a bit like it still works it's just it might not be as easy when you want to flip around but that's okay with me and one of the haggis you can cut off a little bit on the edge and then it will help with flipping but right now I am having issue to flip it's because I added like so many stickers at the back I might take some out just for the conveniency of flipping and also I have this big pocket right here but besides that like I also don't need the whole year of monthly right here but I like having that option there so like it really just up to you and then I really like the folder system as well. It has been working out really great. Like I feel like now when I'm talking to you guys, if I want something private, I can put it in here, you know. But this is not so much like private, but it's just like something to keep in mind. It's like if you have some private project you're working on and you're playing in the public, like when you put it like this, it's easier like you don't have to like purposefully trying to hide stuff if that makes sense like it's not necessarily hiding it's just protecting your own privacy from like if you're at a coffee shop and stuff like that which is great great system and I also like this because sometimes I feel it just keep my life more organized instead of using the divider um, and I feel like the divider, since I'm not using it here, it also kind of saved me like space. So like if you don't use divider, like stick divider like this over here, you can put more pages as well. So you, you don't have to worry about like not having enough for your day to day. Like I think this was really good system for like day to day. Like I say, I put the whole month, a uh, whole year of monthly in here. And then for the weekly, you can put up to two months or even more if all you need is just monthly and weekly and maybe a little bit of like wish lists and then trackings and some stickers and then, you know, a little bit of something, then this is perfect for you. But if you're someone who like to stack your planner, like really full like this, then this is not going to be great for you like if you like to stock your plan like this thick versus this, this thick then you see that differences 
then this is not going to be for you because you're not going to fit everything here in here obviously but one of the big differences is that i also think that the paper i use on my own is a lot thicker versus the monthly and weekly paper and the to-do list paper come from plotter they are a lot thinner a lot a lot a lot thinner so you can actually fit more pages here than the regular paper and that's one of the reasons why their system works well with their own refills and inserts and like that so it's just so much thinner and you can hear that versus like i have this wish list and it's so 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 thick can you see that this wish list paper is thick versus this so there's that difference so it just depends on which type of planning girl you are if you're like me who like just functional day to day and you don't track much this is really for you in my opinion and you want to carry around but of course like it doesn't have the same aesthetic as like let's say Louis Vuitton planner like it's totally different but for me I sometimes struggle using this in public as well like I feel like it's just a lot more expensive than this and a lot more and I feel like this one, I feel, I get scared of like using it at a cafe or places that it's just like, I don't even know if it's clean, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want to dirty this, if that makes sense. And another thing, again, let me compare it for you, is that how they fit in the bag. So I have this bag and a lot of you have message me about this bag and I love this bag but I want to show you how they fit and I'm sure a lot of people have this bag so I want to show you how they fit some people ask me if the MM fit in here and I show you guys it does but what happened is that you you don't have much stuff right you don't have much left for your random stuff but if that's all you need to bring of course that's fine but let's see this one it's like you put it in so much easier you have a lot more space to put phone whatever you need maybe i can put another agenda yeah look i can put another one and then my tiny card holder phone lipstick keys but if you just have this one i guarantee you it's not really because it's gonna be thicker like it's already really really packed and it's hard to it's a little hard to um close like it worked but it's not ideal if that makes sense right you see and then i have another bag and maybe some of you have a little similar um capacity of this bag and then you might or if you have this bag then you might know um here is the bag and i haven't talked about this bag yet but let's see if it fits oh, sorry okay it fits easily into this bag super easy right versus this one it's it fits but it's not as easy but it fits but of course like this is so much smaller because i didn't pack it up but okay so it does fit though the only issue is like you will have a little more hard time to put our stuff and then take out stuff and then take this out so this is just easier in terms of being able to bring it everywhere and be a carry um everyday carry this is the way to go I, I personally really think so but again like if this is not your planning lifestyle then of course like i would suggest you to go with this because planning is important and i feel like for me 
is being able to plan on the go is the most important in this scenario, then I, of course I have to give up and compromise some of it. And it just totally makes sense. Like if I want to be able to have something compact, then I'm not supposed to expect having something like this, right? So it just really depends on what you want to sacrifice and what you are okay to not have in this scenario. Or you can have both and have something like this bigger at home and doing something else and something smaller for functional on the go. That's fine as well. And I think they also have the narrow size. So even if you want something even more compact, you can go that route. And of course, some people go with the pocket. That's even easier. But for me, pocket is just too small <laughs> to write even just. For this, it's for my work purpose and to collect. Um, because sometimes I have pocket requests and I want to see if they fit. So I have this for my work. And also this is just a collector piece, so I love it. But to be use it every day, like this is so far the one I have been consistent for my own personal um, preferences. This one for me, it was a, it was a little hard sometimes to just like, be okay to not fill the whole page. Like I will force myself to fill the whole page and I don't like the layout. Like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like this is just not me. Like, I, it's just not working out. But this weekly, which I haven't shown you yet. And let me put my back away. Um, this weekly, this weekly right here, and let me show you has been great is because you don't have to be afraid that there's not, not enough space because they have it like your time frame is right here. So you still get your time frame like the Hobonichi, like if you want to, right? Then you still have the space on the right side that goes with the day. So what I have been doing is Whenever I have my appointment to do important appointments, I put it here or schedules. I put it on my um, left side. And then when I have very important tasks, I will make sure I emphasize it. But the rest of like to do's that I kind of want to accomplish, but it's not necessary have to, something that I can negotiate, but would like to complete that day. I put it there as like edit videos, um, you know, stuff like that. It's not, um, it's not really day day specific, but when it comes to that day, I really have to do that. I put it on that day, but if it's just my point, then I put it on the right. But also I get those lists sometimes from my to-do list or my inbox because inbox is just every, things that I have to do, then I put them over here as a category. But also what I've been trying to do with my inbox is I do it weekly. So you kind of already know in this week how many things you want to do. But sometimes they are just running tasks. So something is a long project and stuff like that. But I was able to plan them in a day specific, which really helped me um, manage my task a lot more. And then, of course, when you go to the, um, sorry, that's what happened when you put too much. When you go to the project management system over here, it was very easy as well. The only thing is just like, you, if you like to write outside, you have to keep opening this thing. But to me, that's not a big deal at all. And I like that you have a timeline here that you can write if that's something you would like to use but I don't want to reuse this folder so I don't write anything on top of it then I have this wish list it's really really thick though I wish I have something that's thinner but that's okay because wish list is something that just one page and then forever there for the year hopefully I don't grow too much of my wish list <laughs> and then of course, my stickers, I need to take some of this out. I probably only need four of this. And then here and more stickers. 
So it's really, really plenty if you really ask me um, what I think about it and then um, how I have been using it after about a month um, right now. So I think it's a great buy. I also bought two more um, foam plotter, which is crazy. I know. So I love this size so, so, so much that I got an A5 for myself and then another A5 for my husband. And the reason is because the, the system just works so great. And even the A5, I will do a comparison for A5 as well. And it's just so much more um, easier to carry for day to day. And that's why I got the A5 as well. And I think just being able to use it for work and for notes and for planning and that just works so great even with this every day and like i said i don't like having more than one planner so what i have to do is this is my main planner and my a5 that i got right now is just my notebook and uh, for go to school or if i want to plan specific things that i don't want to use the space here and that's not urgent that all goes to my a5 so that one does not have monthly nor weekly planning all my planning is all in here and that one is just strictly for ideas and sketching and brainstorming pretty much like brain dumps and so that one works great like that for me is great system so this is just the comparison of the both and i just want to show you how i have been using them and i have been having a wonderful wonderful time with this planner and surprisingly it has been working out so great so such a good find i hope i can use this planner till the end of this year and hopefully continue all the year that has to come because this leather is so great it's so smooth i would definitely want to invest in another bible size but different leather in the future or you know in a year or two if there's new um leather tie that i can invest in for sure and of course, I would want to try out their other sizing as well. I think there's another one it's called Narrow and their Bible. No, not Bible. Narrow, Pocket, and M5. But Pocket and M5 are not available in the States yet. So I hope those more items can come to the States and then I cannot wait to try them out. But as for right now, I think this is the planner for the year and I feel so bad that <laughs> within a month I already like ditched two planners so with that say this one is definitely the winner and I don't know if you guys have the same scenario as me it's just trying to find the right planner or you already know your system please comment down below and let me know I have been wondering how people find their planner piece because I have so much planner and every time I think oh this is the one and I'm gonna use it forever it never be the one and this is the one that I thought oh you know what I don't think I'm gonna like it I'm gonna return it and then so far it has been working really great and another one that had been working really great for a long time it was my half letter by that time i don't have any other sizing i only have the half letter so that one worked really great for me and i was having a much more busier life with school and everything back then so having a bigger planner was definitely a great great um add to everyday planning but also i was able to study from home and work from home at that time so i don't need to carry so much but right now I do go to school in person and sometimes I do have work that is outdoor. So having this planner able to come with me definitely helps. So it just really depends on the lifestyle and the situation of your life. But for right now, this is definitely for me. And I'm so happy to be able to share this with you all. I know it's a little pricey, but I definitely think that if you are going to use this every day and you don't have an issue buying or investing in this like trust me if planning is important for you you will like this and if you don't then i will just take it as a lesson but you know why you can always sell this because i'm sure there are people dying for them in a lower price so if you are someone who would like to try definitely check them out or you can just try their refill first 
Like if you are interested, try their refills. They're not as expensive. Try them, and if you like the paper, then you can get the cover. If that makes sense, so definitely try them out, or even get their refills in this Louis Vuitton planner. If you are someone who likes to stuff a lot of items, and the thin refill would definitely, definitely help you stock even more papers. Okay. So this is my sharing. I hope you guys like it. Please leave a comment down below. I would like to hear what you think and um, how you find your plan of peace, if there's any. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in me Shows if I'm on